house guests. Bank holiday is a time to visit friends and family, but recently television presenter Michael Palin was invited to dine with the Queen. However, when he arrived at Windsor Castle, much to his dismay, the TV was not on the menu. As a result, Michael missed one of the debates between the leaders of the political parties, which he was very keen to watch. And he's been quoted as saying, well, it's a bit rude to say, can you put the telly on? To the Queen, especially. Mm. Um, but how quickly do we make ourselves at home in other people's homes? Oh, uh, not that quickly. I, I, I'm sort of quite respectful, I think, when I go to other people's houses, because I've been brought up good and proper. I, um, I re what are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, actually, I, <laughs> I had a friend come, well, an old friend who comes to us every year for Christmas lunch, got himself a girlfriend and brought her over for Christmas lunch. And uh, we didn't really know her that well, and she was, you know, trying to make a good impression, and she was lovely, and, and we had Christmas lunch, and um, she said, do you mind if I go and watch EastEnders in the kitchen? <gasps> After Christmas lunch. What did you say? I said, well, I, we're, we're all going like, to play games and have a little bit of Christmas yeah. cheer now. And she said, but if I don't watch it, I've not, like, set the thing to record it and all the rest of it. If I don't watch it, I won't know what's going on. So I said, all right, then. So she went and sat in the kitchen on her own on Christmas Day and watched EastEnders. That's really rude. And then said, it's really cold in your kitchen. Can you turn the heating up? <laughs> and I, thought, I understand that. Do you? Do you? Yeah, I mean, Would EastEnders you on Christmas Day. It's brilliant. It's a real cliffhanger, isn't it? You don't want to miss it. Yeah. No, but it's rude. If someone's gone to all the trouble to get all, like, posh food for Christmas yeah. lunch and spent all that money, and then you come round and sit in another well, look, put it this way. I think in that situation, yeah, it probably is a bit rude because yeah. you, you didn't know her, you know, and it wasn't, you know, she, didn't, she shouldn't have felt that comfortable in your house. Exactly. As, you know, you weren't great friends. But I am a bit like that. But then again, I don't go to many houses where I don't know the people. <laughs> yeah. I don't get invited. <laughs> <laughs> Not the second time, anyway. No, I don't go to houses where I don't really know the people. Do you know what I mean? I don't. I'm not that sort of. I yeah. don't socialise in that way. So if I go to someone's house, I know yeah. them really, really well. And I think I'm a great house guest because I do make myself at home. You know, I do help myself to stuff, and I do order people around <laughs> and expect them to wait on me hand and foot. But you know, I, I love. I, first thing I do is go and look in the fridge. Right. I, I love looking in the fridge. What, what are you looking for when you look in well, the fridge? Well, I'm not fridge. looking Food. for anything. But I know, but why would you look in somebody else's fridge? Because it's very, it's revealing, isn't it? I think it tells that who that person is. Yeah, what they also, eat. Also, you think, you know, if I'm going to be a few hours and I get a bit hungry you later, know what's there. you know, you can <laughs> say, you can be lying on the sofa watching telly and go, yeah, can I have one of those I am sandwiches with that big, the ham that's on the top, not the one on the bottom, then you know exactly what you want. And a bit of the trifle that's right at the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I must admit, I'm a, I, I, I can, I'm a bit of a snoop in the sense that if I go in, I don't do it when people know I'm there, yeah, but I go in the bathroom, lock the door and then go through the bathroom cupboards. Oh, don't you? No. What yeah. are you looking for in Well, there? you don't know it's exactly exactly the same as the fridge. Well, I suppose it is, because, yeah. Uh, on it, it is because, you know, it's what they've got in there, how what's much... What, and what's wrong with them? All these yes. creams and things. And, 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 and what they've been doing at night and everything. <laughs> it's all there on show, isn't it? I love all that. I, I wouldn't dream of doing, going in someone's car. Well, well, first, if, you know, when you, you come around my house, I've probably cleaned up really quickly and shoved things in cupboards yes. and exactly. under the thing. You might it? open it and the <laughs> doom fly on fall on <laughs> well, do you. Do you have any house rules, then, if people come to your house? You know, do you say, hi, come in, take off your shoes and don't look in that cupboard. You've been um, round, yeah. haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, d I don't do shoes now. And, I, and it's really weird, because my mum was always really house-proud to the point that it was... It, it was bizarre because someone would stand up to tell a story and she'd lean behind them and plump up the cushion on the sofa to put it back to how it was. But I, and I swore I'd never be like that, but I've become exactly like her. I, I don't do shoes because I've got cream carpets. Oh, I see. So people have to take yeah. their oh, wear shoes. No, I, I don't wear shoes in my house, and, oh. and other people don't. And we had some, uh, Bo had some mates over on a play date the other day. It was about five kids who'd all been in the garden playing football in muddy shoes, and one ran up the stairs and I went, Stop! <laughs> and this poor ten year old froze on the stairs like that. And I went, Shoes! And <laughs> Mark does that. <laughs> <laughs> no, the thing with shoes, I'm not house proud at all, as you know. No. But but well, we don't shoes. know. You've been invited round, well, Carol. No, you haven't been. No, no, and probably you won't be. Um, <laughs> no, no, you are we're invited. Uh, maybe Just one don't day. bring the kids. One day. Come yeah. out um, the fridge. But the shoes thing, <laughs> I, I agree with the shoes because 
you know, if you walk around, especially where I live, you know, it's a bit grubby. I mean, it's not just grubby. Look at the pavements. Look at where your shoes have been. It there's is true. There's filthy chewing yeah. gum. There's, there's snot and people yeah. are spitting oh, everywhere. But they are. And they're, they're puking and then there's pigeon dropping. Drunk where do you yeah. live? <laughs> 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 I live in North London and that is what it's like, you know, yeah. and it, it is disgusting. So you can imagine what's on the bottom of your shoes. You're walking around the house and then, no. you know, so I do make people take their shoes off Well, you might want to live bad. in my house then because it's full of elephants. <laughs> what? I've got a thing about elephants and that's one of my rules. Don't touch my elephant. Oh. Ever. Have you got... What do you an mean elephant? An elephant? I've got lots of elephants. They all live in the house with me. <laughs> and the candles. So I've got ele elephant dropping. No, not real elephant. <laughs> what is she talking <laughs> about now? Don't touch my elephants. That's what I'm do saying. Do you live in a zoo? No. Yes. <laughs> we did say that Sherry wasn't on the ball right at the start of the yeah. show. Yeah. 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 OK, time for a break. But in, in that medicine cabinet on the again. <laughs> <laughs> in just a few minutes, uh, we're going to be going on a voyage of self